Human Skeletal System The adult human skeleton typically consists of 206 bones. However, this number can vary slightly from person to person due to variations in the number of small accessory bones, such as sesamoid bones. At birth, humans have approximately 270 bones, but as they grow, some of these bones fuse together. The number of bones in the human body can also be influenced by genetic factors and individual variations. There are two main types of bones in the human body, compact, cortical, bone, and spongy, cancellous, bone. 1. Compact, cortical, bone. Location, compact bone is dense and forms the outer layer of most bones. It is particularly prominent in the shafts of long bones and the outer surfaces of all bones. 2. Spongy, cancellous, bone. Location, spongy bone is found at the ends of long bones, as well as within the interior of flat and irregular bones. It is less dense than compact bone and contains trabeculae, which form a mesh-like structure. The outer surface of bones is covered by a dense fibrous membrane called periosteum. It contains blood vessels, nerves, and connective tissue that nourish and protect the bone. Perforating, sharpies, fibers are collagen fibers that extend from the periosteum into the bone matrix. They anchor the periosteum to the bone and provide stability. Structures on long bones. Long bones, such as the femur and humerus, have several distinctive structures. 1. Diaphysis, the long, cylindrical shaft of the bone. 2. Epiphysis, the widened ends of a long bone. 3. Metaphysis, the region between the diaphysis and epiphysis, where growth occurs during development. 4. Articular cartilage, thin layer of hyaline cartilage, covering the joint surfaces of bones. 5. Epiphyseal plate, growth plate a cartilaginous structure in the metaphysis that allows for longitudinal bone growth during childhood. 6. Medullary cavity, or marrow cavity, the hollow space within the diaphysis that contains bone marrow. 7. Endosteum, a thin membrane lining the medullary cavity that contains osteogenic cells. These structures collectively contribute to the function and development of long bones in the human body.